The GeoCube is a state-of-the-art, polished, silver aluminum thermal conductivity test unit. Built for portability, durability, and ease of use, the unit is ready to tackle your TC test needs in a range of environmental and geotechnical conditions. This training video will show you how to use the GeoCube. Begin by placing the GeoCube on a level spot next to the test bore. Remove the plugs from the loop pipe to prepare the pipe for attachment to the GeoCube. Hook up the loop pipe to the GeoCube. Applying heat can make it easier to slip the pipe onto the GeoCube. Clamp the loop pipes down onto the GeoCube to ensure a tight fit. Carefully insulate the loop pipe. Duct tape works nicely for holding the insulation in place. When possible, use the soil to better insulate the loop pipes. Now that the loop pipe is connected and insulated, open up the GeoCube. The grounding rod is an essential safety tool. Hammer it at least four feet into the ground near the GeoCube. Insert the grounding cable directly into the grounding lug on the side of the GeoCube to ensure effective grounding. This is an essential safety step. It is also important to attach a second grounding cable to the generator lug. Next, attach both grounding cables, the GeoCube grounding cable and the generator grounding cable, to the grounding rod. Use two grounding lugs, one for each grounding cable. Plug the GeoCube power cable into the generator. Remove the cap from the standing column. Then, insert a filtered funnel into the column to prevent spillage and particulate matter infiltration into the unit. Fill the standing column with water to begin the process of purging air out of the loop pipes. Add approximately one gallon of water so that within two to three inches of the top. Start the generator. Make sure the generator is set for 240 volts. Push the pump switch to the down or power toggle position. Run the pump on and off repeatedly. The water level in the standing column will likely drop as the water circulates through the loop and purges the air out of the loop. Depending on the volume of air in the loop, it may take several minutes or more to purge the system. Next, attach the sensor leads to the data logger. Amperage and voltage. Pressure transducers 1 and 2. Temperature 1 and temperature 2. Place the data logger into its cradle. Turn the data logger on by pushing the on button. Check the sensor function with the shuttle. Plug the shuttle into the data logger. 
turn the shuttle on. Hit yes to find the data logger. Hit yes to scroll through the sensors and confirm that they are active. Flip the pump switch to the run position to turn on the pump. There are several ways to determine the undisturbed ground temperature. In this video, a physical measurement of the circulating fluid is taken to determine the ground temperature. Place a thermometer into the standing column and wait for the temperature to stabilize. Now, switch on the heating elements. For this 200-foot well, we use elements 1 and 2. Now, use the shuttle to confirm that the unit is functioning properly. Hit the Yes button to scroll through the sensors. We see the pressure readings. Voltage. Amperage. And temperature readings. Turn off and remove the shuttle. Based on the readings, we can calculate the watts per vertical foot. Multiply the volts by the amps to calculate the wattage. 238 times 14.38 equals 3,422 watts. Divide the wattage by the borehole length. 3,422 watts divided by 200 feet equals 17.1 watts per foot. This falls within the 15 watt per foot to 25 watt per foot range. If necessary, add a little more water in the standing column so that there are only 2 to 3 inches of airspace between the water level and the cap. After the system is filled and purged, close the cap tightly. Make sure it is very tight so that it does not pop off as the fluid heats up. The test is now running. Close and lock the GeoCube. Secure the GeoCube to the generator using a cabled locking mechanism. Now that the test is completed, unlock and open up the GeoCube. Turn off the heater elements and then turn off the pump. This turns off all of the electricity inside the GeoCube. Now, plug the shuttle back into the data logger and offload the test data onto the shuttle. Via a USB port, you can transfer the data from the shuttle onto a PC. The data can be analyzed with Gaia Geothermal's GLD software program. Turn off the generator. Unplug the GeoCube from the generator. Take the insulation off of the pipes. Cut the pipes here and here. Then remove the drain plug. 
Open the standing column cap and the fluid will flush out of the GeoCube. Detach the grounding cables. Finally, close the GeoCube and take it back to the shop.